Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm going to showcase a new tool that I found called Forward Email. This is kind of like a mailbox hosting service, um, but it's super nice for like home lab use or for small businesses who want to just have a couple of email addresses that you can then forward to existing email accounts. Um, forward Email also supports mailboxes, which is also really cool. Um, you can use IMAP and SMTP to manually connect your domain to an email provider like Outlook, Gmail, etc. Um, this works a lot better than the trick of using Gmail with a custom domain. So today we are going to be setting up forward email for my domain homelabinthecloud.com. So by the time you see this, this is all going to be um, set up already. So just keep that in mind. Um, there should be nothing I have to hide since DNS is public anyways. We're going to click OK. Um, so we are on the setup page for forward email. I do want to mention, though, that I did pay for their um, paid plan. Um, if we go to features and pricing over here, we go down. Um, I paid for the enhanced plan um, because I wanted the 10 gigabytes of pooled storage, unlimited aliases, unlimited domains, and that kind of thing. So um, that is something to keep in mind. You can do um, a lot in their free plan. Um, but I do think that their paid plan is a lot nicer, and I do like to support um, websites like this that are kind of a smaller business that um, provide these kinds of amazing features. And they have great support. I've emailed their support a few times, and it has been wonderful. So without further ado, let's set up Cloudflare. We're going to use, like I said, HomeLab in the cloud.com. Um, it's in Cloudflare already, so um, it's telling us we need to go here to DNS over on the left, scroll down. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to blur out a few things on this page. I apologize, but you'll still be able to see what I'm up to. We're going to delete the SPF record here, the text record, and delete our two um, Cloudflare emails. Um, so we're going to go here to um, email routing, and we are going to go to routing and settings. Click on the domain, and we're going to click disabling and we're going to delete and disable the following records okay so now if we go back to dns we'll see that those records are gone we're gonna go back to forward email we're going to copy these new records click add record over here on cloudflare this is the same for any provider um, it just knows that i use cloudflare so it's going to show me instructions specifically for cloudflare which just makes it a lot easier so we're going to actually use the root domain that is the mail server priority is 10 ttls auto um we're going to do that save so we're just um, adding in the redundant mail servers here we switch this over to mx back over yes priority of 10 so it looks like there's two of the same priority um, i've been using forward email for a little over a month now and it has been fantastic um, i've had no issues whatsoever all of the issues i've had have been just on my end and me not knowing how to use um, outlook um, I've been using Outlook for my emails now. Um, I do find it to be nice, um, a lot nicer than Gmail. But like I said, you can use different providers such as um, Apple's Mail app or that kind of thing. Um, since we've added those records, we're going to click Verify. And as you can see, we are set up. So this is for inbound email only. Um, basically, it's just routing the incoming mail. Um, I'll show you what to do with that here in a second. Before we do that, though, let's set up our outbound SMTP. So this is a little more intense. Um, it says I've completed the steps, but I have not. So we're going to go back out here. And we're going to continue to this. So um, this is kind of what you have by default. It has the um, alias of everything. It's going to forward to your account email on forward email. Um, if we click Add Alias, what you actually is you can create a name. So we can name this um, info at homelabinthecloud.com and we're going to enable IMAP storage and we're going to give this a description, sorry, a label of um, shared. Since I'm going to share this with a few members of the team, uh, we're going to activate this and that is all we need to do. So basically this is just saying that this is going to have an IMAP email box. Um, if we click create, as you can see, we have IMAP enabled and we can click generate password. It'll show a password on the screen and that's what we can use to set it up in Outlook. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit here. Um, if we go back to my account domains and we go to settings, um, I do want to set up the um, outbound SMTP. So as you can see right here, it's showing in red. 
um, we're going to complete setup of the outbound SMTP. This is quite a bit of work here, but um, I do think this is something that is very nice to have. So we're going to copy the name host or alias right here, add this in. I found that their spam filtering is pretty good. Um, and near the beginning, though, it was filtering out a lot of legitimate mail. So I did report some IP addresses and that kind of thing as not spam. Okay, so once you added in all of the records that you need to, um, it does take a little bit to verify, but um, you can click verify and hope that it does it quicker. Yeah, see, so it's still waiting on records to be um, added. Because we're still waiting, I'm actually going to set up this inbox now. We're going to click generate password. And what I like to do is in Bitwarden, um, I'm going to create a new IMAP and name this info at homelabinthecloud.com. Um, this is just basically for organizational purposes only, um, but then we can generate a password, password that we will use for the mailbox. Yes, I am sure. Um, and then it's going to show the screen right here, basically confirming your password, confirming the username. You can click OK. OK, so if we open up Outlook here, we can go up to the top and click on settings. We can go to accounts and we can move this up a little bit so you can see we can add a new account here at the bottom. Give it the email address of info at home lab in cloud.com click continue this is basically just setting it up um, so it's saying we cannot find a match that's totally fine click imap we're going to sync directly with imap um, we're going to give it the password that we have um, set up earlier some tp username is actually the same as the imap username the password for both is the password that you generated on forward email the smtp outgoing server is email dot forward email dot net um, and the imap is obviously imap dot forward email dot net um, forward email does have instructions of how to do this but i just memorized it at this point i've done it so many times we're going to click add account and we are good to go so i'm going to say this is work we're going to click done and that is all we have to do so as you can see it added it here to my outlook on the left under info at home lab in the cloud dot com now i can send and receive emails from home cloud Com. One thing we do want to check though is if we go back to our domains, homelabinthecloud.com, um, and we go to set up outbound SMTP, and we go to settings here, complete setup. Let's verify these records one more time just to see if we're good to go. Okay, so it's still waiting. One thing to note is that once you do this for the first time, you actually need a manual approval by forward email themselves. Um, I think an admin has to go through and approve your domain for outbound email. Um, I think this is just for spam filtering. Um, it takes just a couple of hours. It's pretty quick. But um, once they do that, then you are basically good to go. You can send and receive email. Um, during this process, during the approval process, you can still receive emails. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's just something to consider, though. Um, for this right now, like I cannot send outbound mail from info at homelabinthecloud.com. Now, at the same time, I am moving the incoming mail. So during the maintenance time, I'm not going to be sending any emails outbound no matter what. So that's just something to note. Okay, so it says we have, notifi we have been notified and you'll receive a follow-up email as soon as they review the information. Like I said, that's just their admin approval. If we go back to our domains, we go back into um, setup. We are done. If we go to settings, as you can see, everything looks good. Um, one thing to note with forward email, as I believe you only get 300 emails outbound a day. Not that that's a huge issue for me. Um, you can email them to get that limit increased. I would imagine if you're a company or business or something, um, you're not using forward email, you'd probably be using like Microsoft directly for Office 365. That kind of thing is a little different, but for smaller setups like this, this is amazing. Another nice thing you can do is you can actually use webhook URLs or IP addresses in your forwarding recipients. So you can actually send mail as a webhook um, and it can actually reroute to that through forward email, which is really fantastic. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with Node Red. You can do a lot of stuff with Node Red through that to um, kind of set up custom email scripts um, and that kind of thing. So that is about all for this video. Like I said, the approval process only takes a couple of hours um, and they get back to you pretty quickly. So um, if you are interested in forward email, want to check it out, there's a link down in the description below. They have not paid me to say any of this whatsoever. I just think it's a pretty cool service that I pay for personally with my own money. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you in the next video.